this is Curtis Schneider with Country Life Realty here in Wrightwood. Today we're going to go on a tour of Wrightwood's different locations. We're going to visit five distinct, unique locations in Wrightwood. If you're coming up here to look at property, you're going to see different locations and different areas that are definitely going to call to you as a potential buyer here in our beautiful mountain community. Right smack dab in the middle of town. I call this the heart of Wrightwood. And it's right near the Country Club. Country Club has a lot to offer, including this beautiful lake that you see behind me, which is great for relaxing in the summer, taking a break from the heat. What I like about this side of town as well, too, is we have a mixture of old homes, new homes, and a mixture of residents. We have some full-time residents. We have some part-time residents as well, too. We're high up in the mountain now, 6,100 feet in elevation. So we're gonna really enjoy these tall pines that we're seeing behind us as well, and lots of critters that Mother Nature has to offer. The Pacific Crest Estates area offers modern homes, custom built homes, larger lots, newer construction, and much higher property values than you'll see more in the middle of town. This elevation lies at about 5,800 feet. We're below the tree line, so we're gonna get a lot more sun exposure, faster snow melt, and easier access to Lone Pine Canyon and the highway for all our commuters out there. Pacific Crest Estates area has CCNRs, which keep property values high and ensure that the houses surrounding that have specific builds to make sure that your property value remains intact. We're here on the north side of the valley, right off Rivera Street and Apple Vista. This area of Wrightwood offers our best views of the Blue Ridge Peak behind us, the Wrightwood Valley and the waterfall of trees that you see behind me that flow from our 8,500 foot peak. Properties here offer great views and also capitalize on outside living area because we're up above the tree line on this side of the hill. We're actually able to see kind of where we're at. We see that we're in one of Southern California's best kept secrets, the waterfall of pine trees and our ridge behind us. This is one of Wrightwood's most sought after locations. The west side of Wrightwood has what we call our bird streets. Our bird streets are lark, mockingbird, eagle, quail, pheasant. What I love about the west side of Wrightwood is that we're still walking distance to the village, just a couple minutes west, but we're higher in elevation. And we get a little bit more snow here. And we're definitely dealing with more full-time residents here on the west side. So we're kind of having our cake and eating it too. We're able to enjoy our beautiful mountain community while only being a couple minutes from our downtown area. And we're also being able to enjoy a higher elevation, backing up to the forest. The west side is where you're gonna see our bears, our deers, our coyotes, all the wildlife that you might expect in the mountains, while also experiencing our beautiful trees. And we have a majestic oak here that changes colors in the spring and fall that you'll certainly enjoy. downtown Wrightwood, one of Wrightwood's distinct locations. Here we have a lot of our commercial property, restaurants, shops, antique stores, lots of great places to eat here. And we're also surrounded by a lot of charming cabins as well too, small cottages also, homes that were built in the 1920s and 1930s, the original part of Wrightwood. If you wanna be close to town and close to the action, whether you're a full-time resident, uh, whether you're operating a B&B, or whether you're just a weekender, this is the area to be in terms of being close to the action, walking distance to all the restaurants and the great shops that we have here as well too, uh, and a little closer to the action. A little more activity, a little more touristy, and a little more snow player action when it comes to that wintertime conditions. But make no mistake about it, Brightwood has a distinct location. One of those is here downtown.